Yo, what's going on guys? This is me, Asin. Today I'll actually be showing you a Blue Eyes Guard Dragon deck profile. Basically, you guys are going to see the deck in action real soon. I think uh, ETPAT has a video of it um, in like an, in a few moments actually. So if you are subscribed to him, which you should be by the way, uh, you'll be able to find the video very easily. But yeah, pretty much this deck is uh, very consistent actually. It's consistently doing 6 to 7 negates and hand looping your opponent for, well, I mean one card but still. And also you end on a really terrifying card called Heart Earth Dragon. So pretty much this card reads, it can't be destroyed by battle and your opponent takes uh, the battle damage that you would receive, which is, you know, practical because it has zero attack. And also during your end, during the opponent's end phase, he loses the duel basically. He loses every single monster that was normal or special summon this turn or every card that was set this turn. So if your opponent goes set 5 pass, uh, it's it, no, he's not defending himself. It's it's still he's he's still gonna die. So uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's quite scary, but you know, pretty much there, there's literally nothing that beats this deck if it keeps uh, if it actually goes off. It's a true like FTK. It's even better than the old uh, like the board uh, in my other combo video. But anyways, I'm not going to waste any of your guys' time. So we'll jump right into the deck profile. So I'm gonna start with the like the you know like the the blue eyes uh, actual card. So three blue eyes. Uh, enough said. I really don't have to explain this. Two alternative. This one's a little bit more, um, you know, specific because it's not really part of the combo. It's just like an extender, like bonus. That it's really good for melody, but like that's it. And um, it's once per turn, so that's an issue. And if it allowed you to destroy your own cards, it would be like fantastic. But no, it's only opponent's cards. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I would play three. Uh, Levy near this card's obviously insanely broken. It probably will get limited. Honestly, I think it's uh, it's a huge problem. I want to say Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Either this or LP is gonna get banned. Uh, I kept saying it. Uh, Galactic Spiral Dragon. This th this is actually the main card in this deck. I think this card is completely overpowered in Blue Eyes decks, and everybody is going to start playing this card now. Literally in every single Guard Dragon deck, because it transforms random monsters like the Dangers or like Crusadias or like any Extenders into level eights, which can be turned into terrifying negates. So it's this card's really scary, honestly. Uh, then we have, of course, the Strudo and Double Seyfert. Uh You can play one, honestly. It's not needed. It's just a really good, like, recovery card because uh, the combo searches you the Ravine, so you can, like, send the Seyfert with Ravine, get back, um... Uh, get back Lavinier, and this is just like it, it, it makes it so you never run out of gas, you know. Like, it's not just you have a one turn push, like turn one, and that's it, you know. Like, if you if they manage to somehow break your board or get to a simplified game state, you have a follow up and you kill next turn, which is really scary. So, Seyfert really helps you doing that, and also you can play the two level four dragons. Uh, I don't know why I'm not playing them actually. Maybe because I don't have enough, uh, I don't know. I feel like I don't have enough light or dark cards because all of my starters are like not light and dark. But you, I mean, Steam the Cloak is dark, but you would need it in the grave, you don't want to banish it, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I feel like they're better in, like, Crusadia decks than in, like, Blue Eyes Guard Dragon, but still, I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I really wanted to play, like, more Danger cards, so one Bigfoot, one Thunderbird, one Ogopogo, uh, one Moth, one Chupacabra, and then two of the other ones. Uh, everything except Dogman, because he's dog shit, haha, <laughs> no pun intended, LMAO. Um, <laughs> but basically, I'm only playing one of the bad ones, because... You don't want to draw like two of a bad danger because it increases the chance of you getting sniped, which is like a neg and a half. And the other ones, well, they're just broken, so obviously you max them out. And then the one card needle fibers, obviously you, once again, want to play all of them because they're really good. <laughs> I don't have to explain this. Steam the cloak is a one card OTK single-handedly, so you know he's the nuts. And then the uh, quote-unquote bad stone. Haha, <laughs> shoutouts to Massey. Uh, yo, if you're watching this, man, I literally made this almost just for you, so. Uh, Trying to make you proud, man. Blue Eyes represent. This deck is actually fantastic. I love Blue Eyes. I don't consider myself a good Blue Eyes player, obviously. Uh, Massey and Allen are infinitely better than me. But, you know, I'm I'm okay with deck building. So it's the the it's the most I can do, but I can't really pilot the deck well. Uh, but if you're a good bl uh, Blue Eyes player, please let me know in the comment section if you have like any suggestion for me. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, so two uh, quote-unquote bat stones. Uh, it's fantastic. You want to summon it with Needle Fiber. It gets your Guard Dragon engine going and then it searches Blue Eyes White Dragon three times. Uh, and the third time, it's funny because it's a mandatory search. So even if you already have three Blue Eyes in your hand, you're going to go Scald Eat, draw four, uh, put back three. So you put back like three Blue Eyes or something and then you search Blue Eyes. It's a legal thing since, since, uh, since it's a mandatory effect. If it was optional, you couldn't actually legally trigger the card so it's a really funny interaction and it does come up and it's a tuner so you know it's it's amazing it makes a, a dragon uh, 
Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. I'm so bad with this deck, I don't even know the names of the card. <laughs> oh my god, that's sad. Uh, anyways, one for one, very self-explanatory. The level ones in the deck are broken. Uh, Return of the Dragon Lords. Um, I always said I love Blue Eyes because they have the, the advantage of playing some insanely powerful spell cards. Uh, if you notice, I'm not playing Trade-In because I feel like I'm no I wasn't playing enough level 8s that I was willing to discard. Because the other uh, Blue Eyes Guard Dragon deck, like back in the days, uh, when Dark Matter was still a thing, played a lot of level 8s, like 3 Bigfoot, 3 Thunder, 3 Ogopogo, and then it played like 3 Trade-In, which was logical. But now, you know, just making a rank 8 isn't enough because Dark Matter's banned, so it's not a combo starter anymore. So Trade-In's not that good, and I really, really need the... Like, the Neil Fiber starters, actually, this is why I'm maxing them out, and I'm not playing Trade-In. It's, it's just so I can see um, my Needle Fiber access more consistently, I want to say. And the dangers are here just here, especially to dig into them. And then, as soon as you have your Needle Fiber starter with, like, one or two extenders, that's it, you have full combo, and that's, like, pretty much six plus interactions with your opponents, so it's insane. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And Return of the Dragon Lord is obviously a great card, but I don't think it's good enough to play three because it only brings back a level 7 or 8 dragon monster. If it, if it didn't care about the level, it would be unfair, because obviously it would bring back either an Xyz, or you would bring back um, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, which is basically better than Monster Reborn at this point. <laughs> uh, so yeah, 3 Melody, I don't have to explain this. This card is unfair in Blue Eyes, it's way too good. I don't want to play Diabolos because I can't rely... <laughs> it's hard to explain, but it's kind of like not part of the combo, because... I really want to be um, sending Galactic Spiral Dragon with Ravine, and I can't always guarantee that I have Steam the Cloak in the grave that can still tribute, like because I haven't used the effect yet, and I can still tribute like a Hieratic Seal on the field. So it's it, it's not worth it to play Diablos, trust me. I, I've tried it out and it wasn't, you know, the best. And also sometimes you just don't have a dark tribute, like a good dark that you are willing to tribute. If you have Link Rebo, then yeah, sure, it would be nice because you would still, uh, like you would be able to turn the Steam the Cloak token uh, into Link Rebo and then tribute that off, but like, I don't know. It's not that good. Uh, so yeah. Foolish Burial, obviously, it's, it sends Glow Bulb and Steam and Jet Sync off. <laughs> I don't have to explain this. Ravine, Romulus. Monster Reborn is a great card, and then the extra deck, Blue Eye Spirit, and his brother Moonlight. Uh, yeah, sure, you can play Azure Eyes. I just wanted the extra interrup interruption, which is probably not needed because this, like, the ending board is just FTK. Literally, it's you can get Sphere Moded and still have three negates. It's unfair. Uh, yeah, a Heart Earth with um, Draglubion and Galaxy's Tachyon, which surprisingly you don't really use Galaxy Tachyon. You just put it underneath uh, Heart Earth, but it's actually really good. Like it can negate every um, opponent uh, Super Bolt, and then you can just jump over them because all of your monsters always have like 3,000 attack. So you can just kill through like triple Super Bolt. And honestly, this deck doesn't really search like that much. It's it's not like you can still like do a lot without searching. Obviously, it's. It's gonna hurt if you can't search your blue eyes because you're gonna need some like some cards, uh, uh, some some cards to, like that that you are willing to like uh, get rid of with like ravine and stuff like that. But you know it's not that bad. And also you don't play like Brotor, so that's another discard that you don't have to like worry about. So yeah, Galaxy Astachion is fantastic against Thunder Dragon going second. So yeah, uh, Scaldi, that's part of the combo. You just use a bunch of cards and you draw some cards, uh, so it can allow you to like, you know help you dig into the combo uh, piece cards that you're missing. And then with the Skull Deed, you can turn it into a Hieratic Seal. And then if you have the Seam the Cloak token, you tribute it. And then, you know, you already know what's going on after that if you watch my other uh, combo video. So yeah, Appaloosa, very obvious. One Needle Fiber, you don't play two because I don't have space for like the two Synchros. It's not really worth it, honestly. I'd, I'd rather just make more rank 8s. And then uh, the rest, I don't have to explain. But that's pretty much it for the main and extra deck. Uh, the side deck, you know, there's nothing, obviously. But those are just some nice ideas. So Masters of the Tenny, if you can't fit it in would be fantastic, so you can just cut Drag a Blue Leon with Tachyon and Heart Earth to play like Tenyi and then like two other cards, maybe like a Divine Dragonite Felgrand, which I don't really like, and then like something else, but uh, I don't know. Uh, Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon is obviously very fantastic going second with Cypher Blade, but the issue with that is that they come in a package, so it's not really good to play just Cypher alone, you really want to play like Cypher Blade too, but, like, I don't know, it's up to you, to be honest. And also another package is the Cloud Castle with Calamities. Well, VFD, sorry. I was actually reading the, the text, which I never do. Uh, so basically use the Effect of Spirit to tag out, summon, like, Moonlight. Then basically you can go into Crystal Wing if you have, like, Glow Bulb. 
and then well, which I don't play, <laughs> and then you go Cloud Castle, bring back Spirit, and make VFD. So it's basically a it's a it's a good combo. But like you already have Apple who set to negate monster effects, so like who cares seriously? Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say for this deck profile. If you have any comments or suggestions or anything, please let me know. And uh, yeah, till then, uh, Yasin is signing out. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. And uh, yeah, peace.